The economic community of West African states has says it is disturbed by reversal of democracies in the region occasioned by military coups among member states. The Speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament, Sidi Tunis, and the President of the Commission, Omar Toure, made this known at the ECOWAS Parliament's first ordinary session of the year, 2023. Also worrying, according to the ECOWAS bosses, are the activities of terrorists which hold sway in the Sahel and has accounted for the loss of numerous lives. On his part, the President, Community Court of Justice ECOWAS, Edward Asante, urged the ECOWAS Parliament to ensure the survival of democracy in the region. We have a responsibility to foster peace in our region, which can only be possible by supporting the structures and respecting the policies and protocols we already have. Second, collective and immediate actions are needed to tackle the challenges we have, including poverty, inequality, climate change, and a host of others. And third, we owe to one another mutual accountability in our pursuit of solutions to our looming challenges. The application of these principles is critical to the advancement of humanity. The situation in our region remains worrisome. Nonetheless, we are deploying all resources to ensure stability, security, and resilience in our member states. We continue to support member states in transition, especially Burkina Faso, Mali, and Guinea, in order to achieve a normal return to constitutional order. We have also been mobilizing international support for Burkina Faso and Mali to fight terrorism and address humanitarian crises. On the side of the court, you have assurance that we will continue to faithfully discharge the mandate in support of the regional integration project, even though the enforcement of its judgment remain its Achilles heels. In this regard, the court has a record indicating that 106 of its judgments have not been enforced by member states, while another 11 are outstanding against ECOWAS institutions. In the spirit of the deepening relations between our two institutions, the interest of the community will better be served if we work together 